Happy Melly Monday! This week I'm upgrading our family meal plan. Currently, we're writing it on paper, which is hard to read at a distance and a waste of resources, so I'll be making a chalkboard out of one of these picture frames I found in the attic. That one is too big, but this one should work. The first step is to take it apart, starting with these stubborn eyelets. Next up is this old, brittle paper tape and these staples. Now I can remove the particle board, the multi-layered picture and the glass pane. Before I can put some paint on it, I'll lightly go over the frame with some 180 grit sandpaper. And with the table protected, it is time for a final wipe down and some paint. I'm using some leftover acrylic lacquer and a nylon brush. The first coat didn't quite cover everywhere, so I'm adding a second one. Now at the bottom of the frame, I want to add a tray for the chalk pens. So I'm cutting this piece of particle board to length and sanding all the edges. To attach it I'll use glue and nails, but the nails can't stick out past the frame so I'll use these small ones. I really should have done this earlier because the tray needs two coats of paint as well. For the actual board I found these stick on chalkboard foil as well as these chalk pens. They write like normal markers, but can be wiped off with a damp rag afterwards. I'll stick it to the particle board that came with the frame, since it already has the right dimensions. I cut it out a bit oversized and peel off the backing bit by bit, whilst pushing out as many air bubbles as I can. Then I cut it to size. Now I want to paint on a permanent grid for the weekdays, so I first mask off the vertical stripes and paint them on with this white lacquer paint I found. I've heard that you're supposed to peel the tape before the paint is completely dry so you don't crack it. It didn't quite turn out how I wanted because of the textured chalkboard foil, but it is good enough so I'll make the horizontal lines in the same way. Next up is the scariest part, the lettering. I don't want to make spelling errors, so I'll write it down in chalk and then very carefully start to paint them. Whilst that dries, I can come back to the frame. The tray needs a ledge to stop the pens from rolling off, so I got a wooden spoon and a hot glue gun and I'm simply gluing it on and adding a second bead underneath for more strength. To assemble the board, I place the insert inside the frame and hammer a few tacks into the edges. Then I put a nail into the wall for the board to hang on, so once a week it can be easily taken off 
wiped clean and put up with a new plan. And that was it for this week's episode. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more handmade content every many Monday, and comment down below with any feedback or suggestions you might have. Anyway, I'm off to make some goulash, so I'll see you next many Monday.